Well, hello, my name is Brooke Jefferson. I'm a family lifestyle photographer based in Southwest Oklahoma. I am also the podcast host of the Book More Clients Photography Podcast. And today we are going to dive in to Iris work. So first off, I'm so excited that you are interested or you are a current user of Iris Works. This is an amazing platform used to communicate with your clients, keep everything organized and have someone um, help you in your business. So I am personally going to walk you through, you'll find different videos on my YouTube channel that will walk you through different parts of Irisworks, help you figure out that tech overwhelm and get you going with a strategic and organized business so that you can work less and make more money and serve your clients with a top-notch client experience. So if you're ready to get started, we're going to go behind the scenes in Irisworks. So I'm going to share my screen so you can see absolutely everything that I am doing. And we gotta give Zoom just a minute here. Okay, so when you first log in to Irisworks, you are going to see this dashboard. And this is what it will look like for you, especially if you're a brand new user um, and you have never used this before. So I do want to let you know, I am going to be showing you all of these tutorials through my demo account, but I really do have an Irisworks account. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't sharing client information and I wasn't sharing my personal information with you either so that I could teach these and it could be available for you to learn. So don't freak out that you don't see anything. I promise promise that I do have sessions. So um, in this particular training, we are going to be discussing how to get started in Iris work. So um, this is the first thing that you want to do when you sign up or you're on your free trial. So over here in the upper right hand corner, um, you've got my settings and you're going to click it and it's going to show you this drop down menu. If you will click on studio, it will get you to where you need to be. All right, so here we are. So what I'm gonna do is the very first thing is you're gonna want to make sure that you have your logo, you have your session types that you offer, and you have some of your branding elements. So what I did and what I recommend you do is grab your branding colors. If you already have a solidified brand, if you don't, just make sure that you have some colors um, that you like or colors that represent your style of photography that you can use. And I'll show you why that's important in just a quick second. But um, they have what's called hex codes. So if you find your favorite color, maybe on Canva, you find it on Google, it'll typically come with the hashtag and then it will have a bunch of letters and numbers after it. Those are the combinations you will need to tell Irisworks um, what color you want something to be. And like I said, this will make all kinds of sense as soon as we start getting into it. But those are the things that you're going to need in order to get through this particular video. So feel free to pause me, get everything together, and then come back when you're ready, or feel free to watch it and watch it again later if you need it. So the very first thing that you're gonna want to do is you're gonna wanna come down here to your company profile. And if you'll click this little pencil icon, it will let you change everything in here um, to everything that you need it to say. So definitely where it says company name, you're gonna wanna type in your photography name. For me, that would be Brooke Janae Photography. And then I'd go down to the website. And then for my website, it would be Brooke brookjanephotography.com. Sorry, I recently switched my website from uh, brookjefferson.com to brookjanephotography.com so I could keep the education and photography stuff separate. Then you'll go through, some of this will already be filled out from when you signed up, and then just fill in all of the additional information and click update and that will save it in there for you. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up your um, your time zone. You wanna make sure that your time zone is correct for where you live. So I'm actually gonna pop over here and I am going to click into my time zone and change it to where it needs to be because I am central time. Now, what the other thing you're gonna find here is it's gonna ask you for a logo and a banner upload. So make sure, like I said, that you have your logo handy. So you're gonna tap upload, 
It's going to open up all my good stuff in here. And I made a folder called Irisworks Setup. I'm going to go ahead and just use this Favicon B as my logo. And then if you have something for your banner, you're more than welcome to upload that as well. For now, I'm going to go ahead and skip this part and I'm going to click update. And so now that's updated and then look, looky there, there is my logo right there. So once you have that done, then you are now ready to go. And the next thing we're going to touch on is session type. So over here on the left-hand side, you see all of these additional options in this, in this menu. You're gonna go ahead and you're going to click on session types. And we're going to go ahead and finish up in this step right here before we move on to everything else. All right. So right now it says that there are no sessions in my account and I want to change that. So I'm going to show you um, the really cool thing about using Irisworks, some options that you can use and then where those color combos play a role. So you're going to go over here and you're going to create your session type. So the very first session type that I'm going to put in here is going to be family because I offer family photography primarily. Now, one of the really cool things that you can do also, and, and we'll come back to this in another video right now, I just want you to get your session types ready to go and color coded. So here's my family session for you. You're going to type in whatever your primary service is. And then it's going to give you an option that says default workflow. Right now it's set to none and yours will also be set to none because we don't have any workflows we've created just yet. When we're done creating workflows, we will come back in and we will um, assign it to the workflow that it needs to go to. Now, another thing you're going to notice is it's going to say lead response. What is a lead response? A lead response is when someone fills out your contact form, either directly through Irisworks or if you hook it up to your website, and that is where your contact form will send it back to Irisworks saying that someone is interested in working with you. You can set up an automatic email that no matter whether that person reaches out to you during the day, Monday through Friday, or maybe late on Saturday night, either way, they're going to get an email from you letting them know that you've received their inquiry, that um, you will get back to them in a matter of time, and maybe you give them some additional information while they're waiting. And so that is an option as well. And we, again, we will talk about that in another video. So all you need to know for this is to put in the name of your session and to assign it a color. And this actually is already got one of my brand colors already there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to adjust this to show you what I'm talking about when I say hex codes. So you can see the hashtag symbol. And then I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in, um, see, and my computer knows me really well. So there's that. So it changes it to more of a um, turquoise blue for me. And then you have the option. So when someone fills out your leads form, and this will all make sense in another video, I promise that when someone is filling out your lead form, you can give them options at the top of your lead form. So they could click on, I'm interested in family photography, or I'm interested in a wedding service or whatever. So you can actually have this show up so you can toggle it on if you want to do that. And I'll go ahead and do that for you. And then you're gonna click save and it's gonna pop up right here, okay? So there's my first type of session. You're gonna do this for um, the services that you offer. So for some of us, we're just gonna have maybe one or two options. For some of you, you might have a few more. Maybe you haven't quite niched down um, and decided one particular area of photography. So homework time. Um, I love videos where you can learn, but I love videos that really push you to do the next thing. So what I need you to do before you move on to the next video or any other topics with Irisworks is make sure you go through and you set up your session types right now and assign it a color. And again, it doesn't matter if you don't have branding colors, just assign them different colors. And let me show you why really quickly, just so it'll all make sense. But when you go over to your calendar, 
what it will do for you once you start booking sessions is it will tally it at the top and it will show you it'll color code it so let's say for january you end up doing five family sessions and maybe um, a lifestyle newborn session okay so let's say your newborn sessions yellow your family sessions are blue it will pop up right above here and you can see it and it's really really cool so that is what you need to be doing is setting in those session types before moving on to the next video i hope you found that helpful and i'll see you in the next one